Arlene Auger singing Mozart's Exultate Jubilate. And while she was singing it, the Duke of York, Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson have been signing the registers and are now legally man and wife. And in a moment will come out through the door on the left for their recession down the nave. But first, the clergy led by the verger with the cross of Westminster and all those who've taken part in this service, including the Archbishop of Canterbury who took the service and the Dean and the Canons of Westminster Abbey, process down towards the choir and down the nave, the cross of Westminster being carried with a taper rope on each side with the candles lit. Queen and the rest of the members of the royal family, those who went in to the Edward the Confessor Chapel for the signing, came out during the singing of the motet, and they're waiting there now for the first appearance of husband and wife, and for the traditional curtsy to the Queen that the new bride will give before she sweeps away with page and bridesmaids down the nave and out of the west door for the procession back to Buckingham Palace. The door on the left opens. The moment Sarah Ferguson mentioned it might be difficult getting through this door with that wonderful dress. The first appearance of the Duke and Duchess of York. Rosanna Innes Carr, a seven-year-old daughter of the Duchess of Roxburgh, Peter Phillips, the son of Princess Anne, doing their duty at the back there to get the train in place. The Duchess of York mouthing their wonderful at her husband as they straighten the train up. Pass between the ranks of the other pages and bridesmaids who've been sitting, most of them very patiently. Prince William perhaps once or twice, showing signs of being very slightly bored, but otherwise for a four-year-old doing remarkably well. And broad smiles from both Andrew and Sarah as they come down towards the center of the Abbey, the cross, where the coronation of every sovereign crown has taken place, and on into the choir. And then through the archway of the organ loft and out into the nave and down towards the west end. The gentlemen at arms in their white cockaded hats lining the route here. Prince William there leading the bride's attendance out with Laura Fellows, the daughter of the Princess of Wales sister, Lady Jane Fellows, on the left, the two youngest ones leading the way out. And as they come through this archway, they come out past the official representatives, the government people who are here because of their posts, out into the nave that's full of their friends. Exchanging smiles and nods and looking extremely relaxed and happy. The Duchess of York with that famous wide open eye look that she gives when she sees somebody she knows. Both of them very relaxed, very calm. And she looking magnificent in that tight waisted dress with all the embroidery on the front. Glistening in these lights. The way down the nave guarded by the Yeoman of the Guard, the oldest military corps in the world, established by Henry VII. And 
the rest of the royal family comes down the steps of the sanctuary and across the transepts, we're looking at the north transept there, the figure in green with the hat, Nancy Reagan, the president's wife. And the rest of the royal family will follow the procession through to the west end. He receives his cap back and is just now coming to the west door with the navy back lining the route. service that went without a hitch. The Duchess of York said one of the Duke of York's Christian names twice, but otherwise there were no mistakes. And you may have noticed they exchanged rings. It wasn't just the Duke who put a ring on the Duchess's finger. She put one rather quickly on his, taking it from the book the Archbishop was holding. And now a tremendous cheer from the crowds outside who've been listening to this service and were cheering all through it. Every time the vows were taken by one or other, there was a cheer and a pop of champagne corks. And they now get their first glimpse of the couple as they come out. Wave to the crowd. Wave up to figures in the offices of the abbey, the sanctuary as the carriage that will take them back draws across it.